Hi right, folks. So I've just done the video talking about you really can't muck up God's plans for you. And something struck me that's very, very true. Many, many people believe that you can do things that God didn't know you were going to do. Or didn't want you to do. Or that something can happen to you that God didn't want to happen. It's ridiculously stupid. It really, really is. It is. I mean, I did videos recently after the Peter situation and the things, the idiotic, stupid things that he was saying. Um, yeah. God wanted the Nazis to do all the things they do. Everything they did, God wanted them to do all those things. To take the Jews, separate the men from the women and the children, take them to the camps and gas most of them, and starve many, many more. And mistreat them and treat them as if they weren't even human. God wanted all of that to happen. The Jewish people were being primed for it. After the First World War, the Jewish people were made to suffer and were treated really themselves as if they weren't human. They were treated very harshly and very, very badly. They, they were ready. They were pissed off, really. They were angry. And then when, of course, the Jewish people were being the ones that were successful and doing well in Germany, a lot of their hatred and anger turned towards them. That was all part of God's plan. God wanted all that to happen because he wanted the people, the Jewish people, to go back to Israel. And didn't that, didn't that happen after the war? Yeah. It was all part of God's plan. Nasty, really nasty, bloody things happened to people. It was all part of God's plan. Recently, October the well, October, we had that situation with Hamas going over and raping women, Jewish women, killing babies in front of their parents. You didn't think God wanted that to happen? Yeah. You think when those terrorists did that, that God was basically twin his thumbs and he goes, Oh my God, what are they doing? What are they doing over there? They're killing babies. Oh, gee. No. No. None of it surprised God at all. None of it. God wasn't out up there watching TV and then suddenly looked out the window and saw these terrorists. Yeah doing that no if you are the victim of something horrendous yeah God knew God knew what was going to happen now to some people God was trying to help you to you know, either avoid that or to go through it. And sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes we can make the journey harder. That can happen. And sometimes we can take no notice. But again... You don't think that God understood that that would be the case. The same way that God put nasty neighbours next to me because he knew their nature. He knew who they were. He knew exactly how they would react to certain situations. He knew exactly what they would do because it was in their nature. That's what I say, this whole point of 
vengeance is mine, saying after the Lord, people quoting this, and then asking God for vengeance. The reason why God said that vengeance is mine is because he's saying there will be no vengeance. Because he doesn't take vengeance out on those people for you, does he? Generally speaking, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Because it's not about vengeance. No. Because otherwise, where does forgiveness come into it? If it's about vengeance, there can't be forgiveness, can there? Because if we're asking God for vengeance against certain things, then why not for others? Then why not for everything? God doesn't give vengeance because if God wanted that thing to happen, then he wanted it to happen for a reason. He's not going to yeah, give the people that did nasty things to you boils and leprosy and all of that. They were simply doing what's in them to do. And, yeah. Yeah. It's not an ugly truth. This is, A lot of people think this is an ugly truth. It isn't. It really isn't. Yeah. Did God know that the flood would have to happen? Yes. In that flood, how many millions of people were drowned? How many millions of creatures were drowned? It was a necessary thing to do. Right? This is the point. If you, if you believe in that then you have to understand that yeah yeah that was all part of it it was all part of what had to happen so therefore okay if there's unfortunate things that have happened in your life then god wanted those things to happen for a reason you're going to have to go to him to ask why. But if you think that God is all knowing, then, yeah, he knew. And, yeah. So, I mean, the problem with this understanding is you've got to put some ugly things into that as well. Yeah, but it's things that humans can do to one another. Yeah. Why well, doesn't God know the nature of people? Yeah. Look at the Word of God and when it talks about what's happened in the last days. Yeah, what's described in the Word of God is horrendous. Right? Yeah. As I say, God uses good and he uses bad. He uses things that are beautiful and he uses things that are horrendous. They're all tools to do a job. And when you understand that, you can look back at your life and you can see, okay? You can see all of these things differently. And you don't judge the people yeah, because for me, I had, there was a lot of judgment for certain people in my life. There was a lot of hatred towards certain people in my life. Not anymore. That's all gone there. Because I understood that God wanted those things to happen. He wanted my mother to reject me before birth. 
he wanted my father to get me married and for his new wife to say he had to choose between his new family and his previous family he wanted my father to be a weak man who would choose his new wife and therefore walk away from his children and yeah yeah and all the other things that happened in between then and now yeah it's uh mm. yeah it's not about blaming god for it either it's about understanding and mature understanding is that yeah things happen and things happen because god wants those things had to happen for a purpose and when you understand that that god uses things for a purpose then cool put it this way how many times has it been that people have been amazed that when if someone has killed a child from a christian family that christian family then asks for mercy and grace and offers forgiveness to that person people get amazed by that and yeah that could be the purpose of it happening just for the family to ask for mercy and grace and offer forgiveness yeah we think of a murder as a nasty thing what we don't understand is and we don't think about is the person who was murdered if they're from a family that belongs to God then they're in heaven now so that's a better place to be isn't it really so there you go I shall leave you to it. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.